guys and welcome back to my youtube channel thank you for tuning in to watch this video today we are going to talk about okrika or thrift shopping in cameroon and challenges that you face when you run an online thrift shop or okrika shop in cameroon okay so this is the only sentence we are going to use thrift we are not used to the word thrift it's going to be okrika 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 to the end okay so guys thank you once more for clicking to watch my name is nguma b i am a cameroonian lifestyle blogger i'm also an entrepreneur i'm a mom and youtuber in the making okay so i make videos from yaoundé cameroon and i share on lifestyle and uh, personal development for african women so i just want to share this video in order to encourage and to inspire other young women out there so i own uh, three businesses online and one of these businesses is selling okrika or second hand or fripperie or thrifts online okay so i buy from my suppliers i go to a certain process it goes through which i will share and i sell okay so that's basically basically what i do since i don't have a shop for now i sell just online and i sell on social media so uh first of all when it comes to okrika business in cameroon is something which is widespread a lot of people do it a lot of people shop okrika a lot of people wear okrika okay so it is a, a yeah a good business opportunity because the market is there even though there are many okrika sellers as well and there is so much coming in the people keep shopping 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 so yeah the market is there the best days to shop okrika when you're going to the market in cameroon is wednesdays it's friday evenings and saturdays so wednesdays because it's the middle of the week people come with new stuff as well they open and they sell yeah but saturday is the normal market day so after saturday wednesday the next day which you can find new stuff new bales being opened and also friday evenings because people want to evacuate the stock they already have and then to bring in new stock on saturday because saturday is a real market day and yeah saturday is obvious almost every market is saturday you get good stuff when you, if they are selling okrika there people open a lot of new things because there are so many people who come to buy on saturdays so those are the days that if you're really looking forward to buying good stuff from okrika in the market i advise that you go on these days but if it comes to saturdays it's good to go very early because most of those big markets they they they, they, they sell to people like us who buy and resell and most of the time, most of the, most, of the, most of the times, people go and buy very, very early. So by the time you go late, you will not be able to find good stuff to buy. Okay, so yeah, for days that is it. And uh, I run a business which sells okrika stuff for kids to adults. Okay, yeah. At first, I used to run this business business as two, like the kids pass separately and the adult pass separately. But I decided to merge because. I was already having too many pages to manage so I said why not make the Okrika business one so that it's less work to have many pages to promote so I merged the kids and the adult section sure the adult section had gone on a bit and I'm trying to bring up the kids section to a certain level and then I really push the adult section again but there are still stuff that I have for both uh, 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 parties so yeah the challenges that I face <laughs> The challenges that I face, like any other business, I face challenges, okay? And the challenges that I face, first of all, there's a challenge of selecting the clothes. The selections, it's not easy to go to the market and sit down, take time and select, imagining what people would like, okay? When you're selling on social media, it's not the same as when you're selling in the market or in a shop. Because people on social media are far away and they have a certain perception that they want to see the best okay so you have to find every way to make sure that what they are seeing on that picture is what they are going to see when they come to buy or to purchase or to collect the, 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 the thing that they have seen so that's one big challenge if it does not reflect then you're discouraging your customers you're pushing them away so you have to buy quality stuff make sure that there are no stains there are no holes it's not the uh, shredded or funny or the color is still intact so you have to be really strict with what you select okay and it's not easy as much as i enjoy the process i love thrift shopping that's why i open this business because i have an eye for thrifts i select good stuff okay so 
it's still not easy because it can take a whole day and you might find yourself moving from one angle of the market to the other because you cannot have everything from one person <clears throat> so we actually buy from different places and then come and then we sell so yeah that's the first challenge when it comes to this business so the next challenge that i face as an entrepreneur in like an online okrika seller is preparing the clothes for sale yeah so when i buy these clothes it's the next thing I do is that I come back home, I have to classify, sort them, and wash them. Yes, I do wash the clothes that I sell. It's now up to the customer to go back home and, and I'll advise that they wash them again because when people come to buy, they have to touch different things, they have to touch and go through the clothes. But I just decide to wash because I want to give my customers a better experience. So I wash each and every clothes that I sell, whether it's baby or adult or whatsoever. I wash these clothes when I come back home. <coughs> I wash them. I try to kill that okrika cell smell because I don't want it to, you know, reflect okrika a lot. So when you do a second washing or a third washing, the smell will already disappear. So when I come back home, I wash them and then I have to classify and do some accounting. But I have to do it to make my clients happy and to make them to like to give them a different feel if not what's the difference between me and the person selling in the market so i come back i wash and then i have to classify like you have to classify uh put trousers together all the like and sometimes by ages and all the like so that when somebody wants something it's easy to know if you have or you do not have so yeah that is the part which is it's really challenging sometimes it takes me days to do it I, I don't do it immediately when i come out from the market because after the market i'm so tired so i have to do it like the next day or a week after it all depends on how urgent it is but that part is really class it's really challenging honestly the next challenge i want to highlight here is reaching customers on my business page yeah business pages are no longer as before especially on instagram and facebook at first you could post something and it would actually reach a number of people but you could post things and it will not even reach your audience i don't know why facebook does that now but it's so difficult to get customers because it does not even reach your audience even if you have 500 200 followers it's difficult for your post to reach for them to even see most of them seeing and buying is different but for them to even see your post is hard so it's difficult to get customers on your page okay i mostly get customers from facebook group yeah that's where i get most of my customers like when i post in a group at least it gets to them directly people see as long as people like and interact with the post it puts the post up and people more people see but on the pages it's really very difficult and that's a huge challenge but it's always good to have a page because you might refer somebody when you meet someone maybe offline you can refer someone to your page to actually see what you do it's like your catalog or your yeah your catalog or your your, your your magazine or your website where people can come go there and scroll and see what uh, uh, you actually do and it's always good to have a huge like to really expose what you do for a while before you begin to send people to your page because it's not so fun for people to come and see an empty page or to come and see a page that they don't really understand what is going on so yeah that's the challenge to get people to patronize you through your page is difficult i've had a few people who ask but it gets it doesn't get to many people so it's difficult to get customers through your business page the next challenge i'm going to highlight here is taking the right pictures it is not easy <laughs> to make your product to reflect what it is supposed to reflect or sometimes the product is good but maybe the lighting and your camera is not good enough and it does not take like the product the way it is supposed to be i've had that challenge like you have a beautiful dress a beautiful top but when you take the pictures it does not reflect what the dress the good quality of the dress so yeah it happens and sometimes you 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 you, you take pictures you also get a picture of the other things that come in like light i use natural light like when the sun is out in the day to take pictures if the sun does not come out that's a problem <laughs> you know so there are other little things like that come in when you have to take your pictures and you have to do it yourself or if you have to pay a photographer you have to see a lot of money so yeah it's not easy to keep up with that and those are the pictures the pictures have to actually reflect 
the real state of the of the clothing like i've mentioned before if the customer sees a good picture and comes and sees something that is less uh, quality or that has a problem they will begin to complain but the thing is the same customers when they go to the market they can buy things which are of less quality than what you sell but because they already have an image of something good they want to have something as good as what they have seen so yeah that's a really huge challenge the next challenge i want to highlight is pricing the products it might seem so easy to say oh i bought at this price so i should sell at this price but no it's not that easy because there are other things to take into consideration like i said people can go to the market and buy what you're selling but the only thing that i think i offer my clients is that i save them from going from to the market moving from one end to the next struggling to shop struggling to to to, to select like i have i bring together everything they can just sit down cool and quiet and do their selection or find out if i have what they want and they come and get it so it makes them to like they can and they can come at any time that they want to so yeah it makes it less stress uh, less stressful for them and it makes it easier for them to shop so but honestly pricing can be difficult because people will always want to compare your prices to the ones in the market you will put up a post somebody will come and tell you that ah they are selling for one thousand meanwhile somebody is selling in the market for five hundred so you go and buy for five hundred i want to come and sell here for one thousand they forget that you pay transport to go and buy they forget that the other expenses your internet your energy that you use to go and collect these things and bring together and the fact that you are saving them the stress of moving up and down in the market looking for what they have been looking for you have made it easy for them so yeah it makes it difficult sometimes you ask yourself should i sell like the market or do i sell just a little bit high or do i really price this product like the way or they give the worth of that product to the customer so yeah it can be really and for me who washes okay that's an extra that i put into the product i have to count that because i have products with it i, I wish i wash i have uh, uh, the detergent that i use and i have uh, uh, the, the product that I use to raise the product so that uh, to raise the clothes so that they, they, they like to kill that smell that uh, 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 Okrika has so yeah I have to put in all of that and I have to still <laughs> still be compared to somebody who is selling in the market so yeah it's not easy to really price your product as we may think but yeah it's a challenge we have to deal with we have to still find the customers that think that our work is worth it and that is ready to pay for the services that, that we offer so yeah pricing is not easy at times sometimes you feel like you actually underprice your product sometimes you feel like you've not priced enough okay maybe you should price more maybe you should have priced less so yeah that doubt and that back and forth is always there especially at the beginning and it's not easy to deal with the next challenge i want to mention here is not having a shop and having to sell or meet your customers in public places to sell yeah this one is a real challenge <laughs> when you're selling online and you do not have like a shop where you can take customers to come and meet you there you have to meet in public places and sometimes it's challenging because you have to be standing up to sell or do your exchange and sometimes i feel so somehow doing that to my customers it's always advisable to meet uh people you don't know and you want to buy from or sell to in a public place never go to a hidden place okay but one thing that i i feel that makes me feel bad about is that i don't want to put my customers through that i believe that they did like they deserve better okay i feel somehow like i want something of a better standard but in order to remedy this a little bit what i do is i take my customers to a little cafeteria which is uh, just near where i ask us to meet and then we sit down especially when they want to buy so many stuff so i will sit down and they can take their time and go through and make their choice but you know when you sit there you have to buy something you can't just sit there like that <laughs> you must consume okay but sometimes i offer to buy them maybe a tea or a coffee or a drink or if they say no i have to buy myself something so that it doesn't look like i'm using the place for free okay i'm happy making my customers that comfortable okay and the fact that we have to meet in the street sometimes it you know it makes your product to look somehow and i just prefer that we have a place to sit down but that is always a challenge because sometimes that place that i go to is not open sometimes it's not 
it's not open all the time it's not uh, working all the time at the time that i have to receive a customer so yeah and another problem is delivery if you have to deliver it will still be on the road you have to own the person's house and sometimes there are risks when you go to deliver you know you can be robbed you can go and the person will not buy uh you know so most times i prefer when my customers come towards uh, uh, where to a place where uh, it's a public place it's a, a church we meet in front of the church and then we, 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 we do our exchange but that is the challenge okay but so far to be honest with you it is a thriving business it is not it's not that bad it's a business that has a future and so if you are looking forward to getting into it yeah why not try your hands at it find maybe something that works for you you can be specific you must not sell everything you can decide to specify to, to, to do only children's clothes or do only jeans or do only female clothes it all depends on 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 you is that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something from it thank you for watching thank you for staying tuned to the end sorry for all the noise you're hearing in the background this is the only time i could make this video like i have my daughter here i've tried to shut her up so many times there are children playing on the street it is not easy like it's giving me so much headache but i have to do this video we are going to be determined and we're going to make it okay thank you guys for watching i hope this video blesses you i hope you learned a lot and i hope you subscribe for more good content like this okay Thank you. Please leave a comment of what you think and just keep the conversation going. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. 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 Look at my mouth. You have to step me on TV.